All right, boys and girls, I'm going to do a quick test video of a Timpano TPT 2200 made in Brazil. This is a full bridge. Appears like uh, much of the Tramps, Timpano, Stetson, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I just want to try this out, show you guys a little bit about it. They have a 15, 22, and 3000. Now this one, bear with me. we got a uh, clip light on the amp itself. It does not come with anything else. No remote, no nothing. You've got a built-in single fan. And you've got the controls here, the high pass, which is like a subsonic 10 to 90. The low pass, which is, uh, you know, 90 to whatever 15k or something so this can be used subs mids highs whatever and i'll just wind that all the way down to 90 for the high side of the low pass filter and uh, then you've got a, a switch flat or off i think this activates these two boost controls like bass boost for mid bass or mid high which I'm not using it for that, so I'm not really going to get into it. Uh, you know, if y'all guys want to get into it, go you know, be my guest. But anyway, the 1500-2200. Power connection, 4 gauge. Specs, and we're going to be running this into the Iron Man box, the Machete 12 Light R. In my overhead shelving that rattles when the bass hits, it's not the sub. Uh, 4 ohms, 1140 it says, at 12.6. At Is that right? 1140 at 12.6? Uh, yeah, 1600 at 14.4. So that's, uh, that's plenty of power. Is that right? That can't be right, 1600. Where does that say that? Uh, that must be uh, 2750 at 2 ohms. Oh, that's the 2 ohm model. Duh. Okay. 26 at 1 ohm. 17 at 2. Uh, 13, 17. It doesn't have a 4 ohm. So, you know, we will assume it's about, uh, you know, 900 or something like that. But anyway, not that I'm going to press it that hard anyway. But, uh,. A little bit ago, I tested the Rockville 1K uh, RMS amp, and this definitely does more than what that did. But that was again running at 4 ohms, so it was you know 400 watts versus you know we're close to a thousand watts. It's going to do a little more, and uh, you know your typical Taramp style, Brazilian style uh, connectors. And same deal on this side. Um, Although this has dual inputs, not the single input, left and right, you know. So there's your speaker connections, and you see your venting slots. And uh, I believe that's the one. You can see the fan blades in it, and I think that's open. And, uh, you know, nice glossy finish. Uh, not the best finish. You know, a few little specks of dirt in the paint, but uh, it is a glossy finish. So... Let's go uh, get that. We're sitting about somewhere about 14 9 volts. Play a little bass. I guess it would help if I didn't keep getting messages. Alright. So, uh, you know, there's your quick test. And it's, it's working well. Um, you know, that's Tim Pano. Uh, you catch it on sale. That's a deal.
I don't think uh, I would hesitate to buy that again or use it or run it. Uh, I know there were some dynos of certain Timpano models. Uh, was it Timpano or PRV? I can't remember which one. You know, <laughs> fire, explode, whatever. Um, I'd say if you don't run it in the dirt and you're just playing on music, you're probably okay. If you're a guy that's going to, you know, you're going to press it right up to the edge of the limit, maybe you would have a problem. But uh, that probably goes with almost anything. But we are talking low budget bass. So. Timpano TPT 2200, one ohm model. That's it. Have a good day.